It feels like the Amazon, but this is actually Europe. I'm in Georgia, surrounded by a very special rainforest. UNESCO has just added it to its World Heritage List. We will see how protecting biodiversity here has turned out to be a win-win strategy, both for the environment and for the economy. We are on the eastern coast of the Black Sea. The Colchic ecosystems began developing here 20 million years ago. Georgia has long protected these fragile regions, and now UNESCO has given them international recognition. Colchic rainforest, this is very ancient trees that have survived the glacial period, and they have been continuously flourishing since the tertiary period. You will meet lots of species which are really very rare, unique, endemic and relic species. This is the only place where ancient rainforests and more recent wetlands coexist. Ispanimire is the perfect example. This is the only way you can get around here and also the only way you can walk and protect the white moss that covers the ground all around Ispanimire. The Skolkik peatland complex has a unique composition and up to 80% of it is made of water. So Isolde, what do we have underneath <laughs> our feet? And <laughs> Imagine a lake turned upside down, which is five meters deep, and it is covered with a blanket of this sphagnum moss. When we walk on it, it vibrates like a trampoline. National authorities expect that this inscription on the World Heritage List will attract funds for nature conservation, but not only that. Once we get funds for uh, development of protected areas, we uh, reinvest this money for social and economic development of rural areas, and the local households will get our support in order to embark on business, to have guest houses, and so on. Three of the four new Georgian World Heritage Areas are located in the autonomous region of Ajara. Its capital, Batumi, is a four-season destination in itself. What's going to be the impact of UNESCO's decision on the tourism sector? This provides unique opportunity, our tourism to be even more diversified and our region to be even be more attractive, as well as it's something that will put another dynamics to our economy. High above Batumi, Kintrishi National Park is getting ready to welcome visitors. Tina, this place is so wild that there are not even proper trails. We have already started uh, creating the trails to the lake and also organizing the shelters for the nature lovers here. Georgia is looking to increase the number of protected areas while opening up these unique ecosystems in a sustainable way.